Good morning, lads. Um, today is a wonderful day. No, actually today is a pretty standard classic Vienna winter day. It's grey, cold and wet. So that means that we're gonna do a basically an indoor training day today. And that means that we're gonna make a training vlog. And that means that we're gonna start the day with an awesome smoothie, bananas, apple, rice milk and some sunflower seeds. Uh, I tell you, it's amazing. Um, I had a pretty nice rest day yesterday. I got some good food in, got some good rest in, and I built a uh, portable hangboard. It looks like that. And no, I actually wanted to make a build video about this, but this turned out so amazingly that I actually have to dedicate a whole video to all its functions, I think. So that should come out soon. Um, so that means I should be well rested actually for today. And that means that I'm gonna try to break my repeater's personal record today for the last time. I already tried it two times. If I fail for the third time as well, then we have to uh, switch up the training method again. So yeah, the plan is to head out into the city, take some epic shots with the camera. I'm almost through with the uh, user manual, so I've learned a bit of new stuff recently. I'm gonna try that out and yeah, then we're gonna start the session. I'll see you in the climbing gym. Yes, come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on. What is this? What is this? Hey, that's in the talking, I hope this is normal. Most beautiful ascent. 
Alright guys, enough fooling around. I think I'll go back to the first boulder of this session and try it a little bit longer. It's about 8A I think. Really um, edgy, really crimpy actually and with awesome moves. It's just for me very reachy, you know, and every move is like I have to go full reach and that's what I actually want to train. So I'll try to analyze this thing a little bit for you and then we head home and try to attempt a personal best on the hangboard. Let's do it. So let's take a look at this problem. It should range somewhere in the 8A range and it's very crimpy. It has basically three very hard moves back to back and connecting these is the major difficulty I'd say. And the first hard move is the one that you actually see right there. Um, the second one, um, after the crossover start you get this kind of a bad edge with the left hand and a bad undercling with the right hand and then you have to perform a far lock off to this wooden edge up there with the right hand which is not too good either. And after that, the next hard move um, basically follows in a back-to-back -back fashion this huge span to the left on this onto this undercling edge there. And as you can imagine, when you're stepping onto the starting hold here, you can see it very well. Uh, from the beginning, you have to really hold your body tension instantly once you grab this undercling because, as you know, the undercling doesn't give you a lot of support onto your toes, so you basically have to hold your entire weight on your right hand onto this bad edge. And with your body strength, of course, on the left foot. So once you grab, if you if you manage to grab the yellow uh, undercling, as you can see it here, you have to perform a huge back step and make a huge swing with the right hand onto the next wooden edge, which is not too good as well. And as you can see here, I almost managed to grab it. It's kind of the crux move, I'd say, after these initial two um, already very hard moves. And after that, um, you have to basically reach very far, very close to your, <laughs> not very far, very close to your right hand in this uh, violet undercling. And once you get that, um, you basically only have to perform one big, um, I don't know, slap to the top or to the, to the next hold, which is this huge um, wooden hold, which you will see in this uh, slow mode here. So here I'm stepping onto the yellow undercling from be from before and here, bam, this is the, the first really good hold that you get into this boulder and from there it's only one jump to the bar. So there it's basically over. It's a really cool problem, I like it a lot. Every move is so reachy for me and I have to train to uh, really do some dynamic moves, you know, really get the, the explosive power into the game and also the body strength. And yeah, uh, I have to say I really like it. I think this is going to be my major project for the next couple of days. I don't have a lot of time to project it actually because the preparations for a longer trip are already running. I just recently came back from another week of um, climbing instructor course. So yeah, now that I'm free, we're heading out to the first big trip with the new camera and I think I, <laughs> that's gonna be pretty awesome actually, I can't wait to do it. So yeah, um, I finished the session off with a few parallel exercises as you can see to strengthen the core a bit, was kind of successful as well and yeah, let's see how the fingerboard, the hangboard session uh, went on. setting everything up for the hangboard session. The challenge is going to be uh, a full set of repeaters, seven seconds hanging, three seconds resting with a total weight of 87 kilograms. Never did this before. Let's try. Um, I'm gonna get ready now. I just smashed in a little post-workout meal, some polenta with vegetables and that's what I'm gonna digest in the next half an hour or so. And then I'm gonna hit the hangboard and see what I can do. Uh, yeah, gonna pack some weight into my backpack in the meantime. All right, I got my online stopwatch right there on the screen. Time for the warm-up set without any bonus weight. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. So, here we've got another eight kilos in the form of these kettlebells. I'm gonna wrap around my hips here. The reason why I had to um, exclude these eight kilograms from the backpack is because I found out that when you load the backpack too high, 
then it's actually pressing down on your shoulder muscles very hard while you're hanging and that's not quite healthy for your neck you know so that's why I dislocated some weight to the lower area here all right stopwatch is ticking I'm so excited record attempts are always exciting so these are 80 87.4 kilogram even yes oh yeah there we are oh. Oh yeah, first time I managed to do a set with this kind of weight. Holy crap, that was exhausting. Damn. Oh yeah, baby! Oh, that's what I'm talking about, man! Those gains have occurred here. Alright, that was set number two. I'm going for more, but I think I'm gonna stop filming now. You've seen enough. And here we have one legendary post-workout meal, we've got curry with vegetables and rice and coconut milk and all the good stuff, so uh, I'm already salivating like crazy. Um, I hope you like this little training vlog, I'm gonna uh, eat this stuff now and regenerate like hell, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, see you guys next time.